Hello everybody and by request this is going to be a tutorial on how to uh, install JS GME and get it working with x 11 and then we're going to go ahead and install something as a mod. So, But what is JS GME? JS GME is a mod, as a mod enabler. So if you are familiar with Armor 3, so if, let's just start Armor 3, just the uh, the launcher for Armor 3. So if you go in here and you go to mods and you see here are the list of available mods that I have subscribed to on Armor 3 and then these are what I have loaded. Now this is exactly what JSJME, I mean GME is. It's the same thing as this. it's a mod loader. So if you're familiar with the Armor 3 launcher or any other uh, Like Skyrim Special Edition has my mod, not a mod launcher, but it allows you to enable mods. This is exactly what this is. It's just standalone, and it's software agnostic. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it can be used for anything. It can be used for X Plane 11. It can be used to be used for Prepare 3D or FSX or any other number of games. Just like Reshade. Reshade is not X Plane 11 specific or X Plane 10 specific. It can be used for Probably, I think it's like 50 different, uh, 50, 50, about 50 to 60 different games. Um, so it's not just X Plane 11 specific. So what you're going to do is I'm going to leave a description in, uh, leave a link in the description on where to get JSGME, and you're going to want to install it. When you install it, you're going to want to install it somewhere besides X Plane. I don't even remember where I installed mine. I think it's it might be in C somewhere, but anyways, it's gonna. What it's gonna do when you're done is you want it to create. You want to hit the little check box box that says create desktop uh, shortcut, and you're gonna get this shortcut right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and copy it. So you're gonna right click, copy it, or just and just paste another one. So here's another one, and you're gonna re going to want to rename it. I've already renamed mine. Here it is right here. JS GME X Plane 11, and then you want to go ahead and click it. Well, actually, scratch that. You want to right click, not left click, right click, go to properties. And properties, you're going to want to start in and you want to give it the path to your X Plane root folder. So here, mine is on the desktop, and it's over here. So I can bring it over here, it's on the other monitor. So it's in this folder here. So I'm just going to bring it here just for this uh, tutorial. So we want the root of this. So you can get this by going here, right clicking, copy and paste. So get this path, copy it, and put it in your start in. Okay, and when you're done, you're done with that. Next, you're going to go in here and click on this. Then you're going to say yes. I don't know why it says mods here, but okay. So you can see I already have reshade enabled. I'm going to just going to go in here and disable it. So there, it's no longer enabled. And I'm not going to. Uh, we'll just go ahead and look at the folder here for a second. As this just stay step by step. Next, you're going to go into tasks, and you're going to want to generate snapshot of game files. When you click this, it's going to scan everything that's in that X Plane 11 folder that you have right now. That way it can see what the changes are when you load these mods. So when you click this, I have an i7-6700. It took about somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes for it to scan all the files. So click this, go have a cup of coffee, whatever. Cut your grass, whatever. Come back and it should be done. Once it's done with that, you can go ahead and grab your folder and throw it in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new one because I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it um, Airport Environment HD and that's what we're going to grab. So you can see here I have Reshade. You want to name it. So here's Reshade and the Reshade folder once you unzip it comes with this. You have these files here and you have this folder. What you can think of well, 
this reshape folder, just think of it as the root folder for x 11. I know it sounds kind of complicated, but it's really not. In the install instruction for reshade, you unzip the fo all the files, you would put all these files in the root folder of x 11. And that's exactly what we're doing here, is we're telling JSGME to put these on the root folder, and you'll see exactly why in a second when we do the AHED. Aircraft and uh, airport environment HD, which is what this is going to be. So, but first we need to grab it from the .org. So, let's go to the .org. So we'll go .org. Oh, explain. Uh, we want the .org, don't we? We want the .org. We want the files. So, just give it a second to load here. Explain.org for some reason takes forever for me to load the forms part. There we go. And we want to go down to utilities. Actually, no, it's not utilities, it's scenery. Scenery, my bad. And the org is just it's just slow for me for some reason. So you want scenery enhancement packs. And this is where I go to get all my stuff. And here is Airport Environment HD. Make sure you are logged into the .org, and you want to download. So I'm going to save it. Have no idea how big this file is, but I do have a hundred megabyte per second download and upload, so shouldn't take that long. There we are, we're done. So view and downloads. The wrong one. I want to see it in this folder. So I'm just gonna click here and open another file explorer. I'm gonna go down to downloads. So where is it? It is there it is airport environment HD. So I'm just gonna hit extract all. We'll extract it inside the downloads folder. You can see my downloads folder is full of stuff for explain. Okay, so we want to go step one and we want to do runways. Okay, this is how we're going to do this. If we, let's just take these two folders here. So let's take, I can't do it because I've got two monitors, but let's go to here. Okay, so let's go back to desktop and we'll go to X Plane 11 and we'll go to resources and bitmaps and there's runways right there okay so that's this is what we want to do I'm going to change this to uh, mods okay so, so in here we want to grab this copy it I'm not going to copy it here. So let's do this. So new folder, and we're going to say resources inside here. We're going to say new folder bitmaps, and make sure it's lowercase because it's lowercase in the path. And inside here, we're going to throw those that runway folder. So let's go back to downloads and airport environment HD and runways and let's create a folder here. Just call it runways because there's a different view folder. And I think it's lowercase of runways. I'm not sure. Let's do do it lowercase. We can change this if we have to. Let's go here. Grab this. Move it over here. So that should be good. Next, we need to go ahead and grab this. Copy it. And we'll go back out of x and go into Custom Scenery. And I'm just going to throw it down here but between below the ortho files for Isle of Man, which is the previous video that I did. So I'm just going to paste these. Okay, so we have the runways in. 
I gotta make sure we have mods, AHD resources, bitmaps, runways. All right, let's go out here and make sure that that's what we go. Resources, bitmaps, and it's lowercase r. So let's go back out here and change that back to a lowercase r. Rename runways. Okay, and theoretically we should be good. Let's close out of all here. And if you're wondering what my rog looks like, this is exactly what my rog looks like. It's about the size of a Xbox. Okay, so I've got it loaded. I'm not gonna load reshade because reshade adds about 40 seconds to your load time. So let's go in here. And the reason I haven't put this on my C drive is because I'm getting ready to wipe this one terabyte drive clean and install everything on my 250 gig SSD as soon as I take this thing apart and put my SSD in it and then have my also my one terabyte. So let's go ahead and start this. I can already tell you that reshade is an end because it would already had to the uh start its uh text up here. Okay, so let's make it full screen here. Let's say new flight. We'll do let's do Isle of Man. We were just there. And we will start. So we'll have the we won't we will have ortho for that. So just give it a second. It's gonna start the Panthera, which always takes the longest. Here's your third party aircraft. for the Panthera to load. So you think with the i7-6700, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, that would load faster, but it doesn't. It would have if it was on my SSD, which is why I'm going back to my, I'm going to put my SSD in here and install x 11 on my SSD. And I may even install x 10 alongside, because I do also fly x 10 a lot also. reading the ortho files. Now it's done. Supposedly. There we go. Okay. So now we have the Airport Environment HD installed. See this with the more finely tuned, uh, finely imaged runway markings and even the uh, skid marks. And the runway signage is going to be, you can see here a little bit. You can look in here at this runway signage. So it's more, it's a high definition uh, texture for that. Also, the uh, runway markings and the lines and taxiways, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's how you get files, JSGME installed, it's how you get 
the mod folder inside your XPlan 11 folder and how you actually add stuff to your mod folder. So you can just turn it on and off at your leisure. And let's go ahead and let's just go back to daylight here. I mean, this is without reshade, of course, but let's go, just go back to daylight and see if we can see these markings a little bit better. And the control K never works for me so for some reason. So, and there we go. So there's the airport environment HD runway at Isle of Man. And if this video helped you and you know, answered any of your questions, please give it a thumb up. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you have any questions whatsoever, put them in the script in the comment section below, and I will do my best to answer them. And I'll thank you for watching. And have a great day.